Oh yeah, if you see my last video, you see replace this track on end here. Um, now I'm going to move on to replace this whole lower arm down here. I'm going to start with a ball joint at the front, but as usual, I like to clean up the nuts and bolts and the threads and everything before I get myself into a pickle. So I'm just spraying that with some maintenance spray, some sort of WD-40 or something of that nature. Give it a spray and then I scrub down with a wire brush just to get all the because it's in the wheel arch, you know, and it gathers a lot of mud and like salt from the roads. So it just creates a bit of an issue. So just clean it out, get those threads as clean as possible. So the, the nuts come straight off. Judging off the rest of the vehicle, I'm going to say that these are going to be a problem. So what I'm doing is spraying it with uh, some white lithium grease. So, so that, that will uh, penetrate in then to the nut and bolt. And it'll just make everything a little bit more slippery. So it'll come off a little bit easier for us. Um, this is just sort of an optional extra. I'm just going uh, above and beyond to make my life a little bit easier. So uh, more of a want than a need, I suppose. Now let's just gun this ball joint off. It really is a 16 mil. And then uh, slide the, net, the bolt out, sorry, you might need to give it a bit of a tap. But it'll come out. Now with this net out, what I'm going to do is separate the ball joint. So a lot of the time, I'll just try to leave it down on it, especially if I'm not replacing the ball joint. But now, because I'm replacing the whole arm, I'm just going to get a pickle fork. Because sometimes it can damage the boot. Let's just slide the pickle fork in if you're going to use a, um, a spitter or if you're just going to break it free off the tape or whatever way you want. But I'm using this uh, pickle fork, I'm just going to smack it in with a hammer. And it's like a wedge, so it will cause it to, to separate. Just give it a beating until it comes out. Right now that I've got that ball joint separated, I'm going to take off this back nut here, or nut and bolt. So I'm going to hold one side with a spanner, a 17mm. Then zip off the other side. I'm using an impact here, but if you want to use a, um, a ratchet or whatever, another spanner, it'll all do the trick. So the nut's just sliding off the end there. I just have to give this, this nut, I saw this bolt, a little wiggle and a twist and a pull just to get it out with a bit, a bit of pressure on the back. I want to just give it a bit of a pry. And then trying to use a pickle fork but it's never going to get in there. It's just uh, showing you the patience. Uh, it requires sometimes just to work it back. You can see it coming slowly. I'm going to get behind it and push it out now. This is literally the best shot I can get, but you need to slide your spanner up over the top there. So the, the nut, there's a nut on the top and it's hiding. So you have to sort of feel your spanner onto the top of it. And I'm going to stick a gun underneath and whiz it off. But obviously again, you can use your ratchet or your spanner, whatever is available to you. Just holding the, the top spanner in place. And blitzing it out with a gun. And now with all the nuts out, I'm going to stick a pry bar in here and just flick it out. Normally it comes out a little bit easier than this, it's been a bit of a fight, I guess it's stuck in there a little bit. Just wiggle it, pull on it, push on it, do what you need to do. And slide it in on the back bush. Pop it out there as well. Normally you can wiggle it out. This one doesn't want to come, so I'm just going to leverage it out instead. I 
but I know off camera I just checked now that the parts are exactly the same. Um, I'm going to clean up these mating surfaces and then I'm going to put it back in reverse order. Apart from the slight differences, I'm not going to bolt it up until I've um, lifted the jack, the hub up so it's at road height so these bushes don't rip later on so you just get them seated where they would on the normal road and then tighten them up. Uh, thank you for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button.